Hi guys, it's Mrs. Wynn. Um, today I wanted to go through one more word problem with you and then I kind of wanted to give you a list of different words to look for in the word problems to help you recognize which order of operation you need to do in that word problem. So we'll look at different words to help you know if you should be adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing because we're looking at all four orders of operation now. So let's get started with just the word problem first. So we are back in Mr. Bob's music shop, and he is selling bouncy balls today to Sally. This is our friend Sally, and so here's what it says. Sally is buying 18 bouncy balls. She will split them evenly between three kids. How many bouncy balls will each kid get? So let's cube. Circle first. So circle your numbers. So in this case, Sally is buying 18 bouncy balls. I'm going to circle that 18. And we know she's splitting them evenly between three kids. So how many bouncy balls will each kid get is what I want to underline because that's a question I'm looking to answer. And then for my keywords, hmm, I really like how many. I really like the word split them evenly. And I like this word, each. I think these are all good words to help me understand what I need to do to solve this problem. So let's work it out. Let's write out first our list of our known, which we already know we have. So, we know she has 18 bouncy balls she's buying. And we know she's splitting them evenly between, oops, sorry, between three kids. So this tells me I'm looking for equal size groups with each one of these kids. Each kid is considered a group, and how many are in that group or how many each kid is getting, that's what I need to figure out. So I think what we're looking at in this problem, I'm going to say my 18 is my total. So I really think this is going to be a division problem. So my equation is going to be 18 divided by 3 equals something. But if we're not quite comfortable with division yet, I can also write this as multiplication effect. Or multiplication equation, sorry. I know how many groups I have, I just don't know how many go in each group, but I do know how many my total is. So I can use that all information in a multiplication. So I could say three times something equals 18. So now we just have to figure out how do we feel like solving this one. I think I'm gonna do an array. We've gotten really good at those this week. So here's my three kids. And I know I have to get to 18 bouncy balls, so there's three. And then I'm just going to start building that array based off of the kids. So there's three, six, three more, nine. And I'm going to keep going and making sure everybody gets an equal share until I get to 18. Almost there. So this is all the information I know. Now I find my unknown information and that's right up top. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six. So how many bouncy balls does each kid get? Each kid gets six bouncy balls. So six, 18 divided by three equals Six, and I'm going to do that label. All right, you guys are going to see a couple of different types of word problems. We've walked through quite a few together, but if you still need help, don't hesitate to reach out and ask your teacher. They'd be absolutely amazing in answering your questions. Before I let you guys go, I'm going to go over a list of 
keywords to look for when I'm doing an addition, a subtraction, multiplication, or division word problem. All right, so let me erase my board, and then we'll get started with that list. So when you're looking for addition word problems, to figure out if it's an addition word problem, here's some keywords. And I'm just going to put the addition symbol up top. So keywords to look for. Add. Sum. All together. Um, let's see, I made myself a list total in all. These are just some. There's a couple others that you can always think of. I'm sure you guys have a list of your own going on in your brain once I started this. So what about subtraction? Words to look for was subtraction. About how many more? Ooh, I like to put how many over here because a lot of the times this how many more gets us confused. How many is addition? How many more is subtraction? So that I think is a good one to add over here. How many more? How many left? Uh, fewer. Subtract. And less than. All good words to look for to know what order of operation. Next up is that multiplication. So we're looking for if we see the word times. Each. Groups of is a big one. And products, which is what we call the answer in our multiplication problem. And last one we're going to do is division. Look for words like part, split evenly. We saw that one down here. Quotient is what we call the answer to our division problem. And divided into. I hope these are just some good, useful tools to use to help you guys figure out if it's an addition, subtraction, multiplication, or division word problem. Um, I have a list that I'm also going to put on the newsletter, so it's a great reference tool for you. And we'll see you soon. Bye!